I mean, that's what exploring's all about, discovering little things like this. Absolutely fascinating. Hi guys, it's a bit blowy this morning. I brought you up to Walton on the Hill, which is just off the uh, A217, going up towards uh, Rygate, uh, between Sutton and Rygate. It's a lovely little village, and I thought I'd just show you some of the sites, both at the church, and uh, tell you a little about it. Let's go. you can constantly hear in the background is the M25. It's only about half a mile up that way. Walking on the Heath, 576 feet above sea level. In fact, we'll be there. Have a little look around. Now, over in Walton Manor, which was originally built in the 14th century, you can't really see it too well, but I can see it over here. There is the remains of a Mott Castle. Uh, from about the 1100s, maybe a little bit earlier. There's remains of a mock castle. But yeah, they've, gone, they've put this here so you can see, but obviously there's uh, stinging nettles and everything in the way, so you can't see it. The thoroughfare. Quick look down here. Walton is very old. There's been Neolithic finds over on Walton Heath. Nearby is an old Roman villa. I think it's in someone's garden, you can't get in there. Um, and it was called Waltone, Waltone in the Doomsday Book of 1086. So it's been here a long, long, long time. Uh, I hope this is all right. It's very, very, very blowy today. I didn't think it was going to be. The, the sun's shining, you know, it's almost blue sky. Um, but yeah, it's nice houses along here. Yeah, you can hear the M25, you can see it in the distance. And um, that's down below. A quick look, and then we'll go back into the village and uh, look at the church. It's such a shame, when looking at the mound earlier on, it's on private land. We'd like to have had a look at that. They originally thought it actually was a burial mound, a Neolithic burial mound, but it's actually a mock castle. Yes, yeah, Walton Manor. It was owned by Richard D. Tombridge. That's got the name right, who owned a lot of land in this area. And Henry VIII gave it to uh, Catherine of Aragon as part of sort of a marriage uh, gift. I don't think she ever went there. But, uh, it's a nice little track, this. Oh, got a loud plane going overhead. So, yeah, there's a nice little sunken path and it goes down this way. I didn't even notice it. I'm going to have to explore this sometime. A little bit more time. Yes, yeah, it goes down there. So this is St Peter's Church, built in 1268, although they think it's actually much older than that. Also has, oh, also has one of the uh, oldest fonts in the country. So let's open this for a little bit. And this font was built in the 1100s. That's so really, really old, 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 old font. And this part is anyway, not this part. The top of the font is 1500s but the actual font itself is uh, sort of 1180s, so one of the oldest fonts in, in, the, in the country. Actually. Oh, I just met this really nice gentleman talking to him and he says uh, a lot of his relatives, his uh, parents, his brother, are all buried here in the churchyard. 
very similar to uh, a recent video by Richard Vogue, the Bald Explorer, where there's a chap who's got about 200 relatives buried in the same churchyard. That's, that's really nice, all in one place. Sad but beautiful at the same time, you know. I've just found something really interesting. This is not in any of the literature, I didn't know about this. Look at this. Ancient tomb. Johannes de Waltoon. Walton. I won't even try and pronounce it because I'm looking for uh, AD 1268. 1268, so around the time the church was built. Uh, fundata. Fundata. What's a fundata? Is that part of his name? Does anyone help me out there? Fundata? I mean, that's what exploring's all about, discovering little things like this. Absolutely fascinating. You're just sort of walking around, having a, taking it all in, and then you find this. Wow. When I was talking to the guy, his um, outlook is very much similar to mine. I think most people's, uh, these places really need to be preserved. You know, although I say many times I'm not religious, um, the buildings are very important from a historical and from a spiritual point of view. You know, these were hubs of the village churches, so they need to be looked after, you know, much like any historic building. 1200s this was built, 1200s. There's some tombstones here going 1849, these are all sort of much more modern, 1966, 1965, here, 1850, 1870. 1870, 1892, 1840, there's one round the corner, it was 1745. Well, well thanks for joining us folks. This is a jaunt around Walton on the Hill. If you've uh, liked the video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the bell notification for more of my nonsense. And we'll see you next time. Remember, if you're in the area, come and explore some of these uh, little villages. Forget the N25 in the background. They're little gems. Little gems. See you next time.